Hi guys! This is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with another Amazon unboxing and you can see they just sent me the box that the item came in with no Amazon box. I'm a little disappointed about that because I live in a very high theft area and anyone could have looked at this box and saw Himi Gouache paint set 12 pieces and stolen it. But thankfully, my dad was outside working on the garden when the driver came, and the driver handed this directly to my dad, so I didn't have to worry about it getting stolen, and the box is in excellent shape. So I am so excited about this, you guys. So this is from the Maya painting brand um, in China. They make it, and I'm so excited. I have wanted this paint since I started buying paint before Christmas time, bought myself a lot of paint uh, for Christmas and I, I bought watercolor and I bought acrylic and I've been really, really into the acrylic more so than the watercolor. But um, I wanted to try gouache. This is a gouache paint set and I'm sure you've seen this all over YouTube, all over Facebook, all over um, TikTok, if you're on TikTok, I'm too old for TikTok, so I am not on there, but apparently it's been all over there for years. But anyway, this set is a little bit different, and this is the set when I went to Michael's and I was asking about gouache way back in December. Uh, the young woman who was working there, she suggested I go on Amazon, and she said, get the Hemi gouache paint set. It's the best for beginners, because you get so much bang for your buck, and it's a nice quality, she said, for beginners. And I find with my, my acrylics, I'm really hesitant to use them and to just practice with them because I just I don't want to waste the acrylics because they're, they're, they're kind of pricey. So anyway, this, um, this set, I am so excited and I can't believe how fast it came in because I ordered this on June the 3rd and um, today as I'm recording this is June the 5th and it was the weekend when I ordered. So June the 3rd was a Saturday and today June the 5th is a Monday and that's how fast this arrived. And I live in small town in a, a small city in northern Ontario, Canada. So we do not get like the overnight Amazon delivery here. But I've been getting the two day delivery and that's really awesome because that is very not usual for where I live. Usually I'm looking for like even on Amazon sometimes I'm waiting a week for things to come in. Some things come quickly and some things don't. But we're just gonna open this up. And I, I did this, I know this looks like a mess, but I did it, I just pulled off my postal code and covered my address. So that was me doing that, because this was in pristine shape. Because the driver like literally handed it to my dad. This didn't even touch our front steps. And it looks like it's really nicely packaged. So I'm gonna show you here, it says here I'm getting the Himi Gouache paint set, um, they're 30 milligrams in each container. There's 24 colors and it's the green case. It comes with a three piece brush set and um, the white refill, a drawing board square, a drawing board circular, moisturized mildew gouache spray, 100 milliliters, um, paint brushes, three pieces. So I think that, I don't know why they put that twice, right? I don't know. Um, and a desktop bucket times two, can you see that? And HB pencil times one, 2B pencil times one, small painting eraser, and a painting knife. So, I thought, you know what, that's really nice. This costs $49.99 Canadian. All right, so, Alexa, what is $50 Canadian in American money? 50 Canadian dollars is about 37 US dollars and 19 cents. So Alexa says that's about 37 dollars and 19 cents American. And that was a really good deal. Now they had another set that was just the paint with nothing else for 39.99. So for 10 dollars more I got all the extras and I don't know if they're worth it but we're going to see. So let's just slide this off. I'm so excited about this you guys. I'm really enjoying painting. I am enjoying it much more than I thought I would. <gasps> oh, look, what's in the box? Doesn't that look wonderful? I am so excited. So this is um, 
basically part of my birthday present to me from me. All right, my birthday is this month. My birthday is on the 19th of June. I'm going to be 59 years old. So anyway, I guess let's see what's in here first. And look how beautifully everything is just perfectly wrapped up. It's just really nicely packaged. So this is from the Art Me store on Amazon.ca, and I will put links below. But um, the links will just be based on this unwrapping. I won't have any idea of what this is like. And to be honest, once I try it, I still won't have any idea of how it compares with anything else, because I'm, I'm not an artist. All right, so one thing, this is leaking a bit. Even though you saw how perfectly wrapped this was. But I guess because it's um, in this kind of a container, it wasn't on tight enough. So there's some of this in here, but not a whole lot. You can see my hands are a little damp. I don't see any wetness in there. Now I did see in the reviews quite a lot of people were complaining that their mildew stuff came empty. So I knew that might be a possibility. And I guess they really need to just make sure these are tightened before they send them. But even if it's very tight, it's possible it might be coming out through here. So let's see. Um, I don't know if you could see in there. I don't want to spill it. It's still full. Very little came out. Just like a few dribs and drabs came out. So this is still full. Now this is something I have not been able to see um, hardly ever. It, it's it's Chinese. I can't read Chinese. But this is a mildew spray because gouache can grow mildew or mold depending on what kind of climate you're in. And I haven't seen this for cheaper than about $20 Canadian for something similar for the same size. So just to buy the paints alone would have been $39.99. So for $49.99 I got this. And to buy them separately, I would have had to pay $5 more. And that's not counting all the other stuff. So I just want to wipe my hands and wipe this bottle. So we'll do that. And I'm just going to uh, take it and maybe put it in the lid for now. And, oh, these are really nice. So these are the brushes. I don't know how they're going to be, but all of the reviews that I read, the people really like these brushes, and one lady actually went out and bought herself a second set of the brushes. So I don't, like I said, understand Chinese. The only thing I can read is Himi. But the branding is really nice with this really pretty bird with hands tending to a garden. And the bird has legs. This is something like AI would draw this. AI does stuff like that all the time. But I do like it. And there's the bird again. So let's just open this up and see what the paint brushes are like. I'm so excited. I keep thinking this is like Christmas, but no, it's like a birthday present to me from me. And the brushes are always stiff when you first open them because they, they, um, they put them in something to keep their form that you have to wash out. But I just want you to see how nice these are. I don't know. So this is a size eight brush. Oh, and I do know what kind of brush that is. Oh, man. This is a size 8. Oh, man. What is that called, that kind of a brush? it's This is nice for making petals on flowers and for, like, dabbing, br like, branches on trees. What is the name of this brush? Okay, so, like I said, I'm going to be 59 at the end of this month. My memory is not great. <laughs> this took me much longer than I thought, and I didn't remember. I had to Google it. This is called a filbert brush, and these are usually really nice for making, like, flower petals. And I think this is just called a flat, a flat brush. It's a number six. Can you see that? I hope this is light enough. When I started this video, I turned off my overhead light because the light was just streaming through my window, right? And then... The overhead light made it look too glary. So I turned off the overhead light, and, and now the uh, the main light is gone. So I had to turn my lamp on. And this is a round brush. And I know I always wonder why these were round brushes, because they look pointy on the end. But they're going by the shape over here, I guess. So these are the three brushes. I really like them. I'm just going to put them back in here. 
and I really love this mint green color. Now, if I would have just gone with the $39.99 kit instead of the $49.99 kit, I could have also got this in pink or yellow. But I do like the mint green, even though I really like pink as well. And it comes with two pencils, a 2B and an HB. And um, I don't know if my camera's going to focus. They've got little animals on them. Can you see that? And again, that kind of looks like AIR. Like this deer has a flower for a face. And I don't know what this is. This Lynx has a, like a mask on. So yeah, this totally, I've been playing with AIR and this looks totally like it could be AIR. So yeah. <laughs> and we got a little eraser, a little white Maya. So Himi Maya, I think are the same brand. So that is very nice. A little Maya eraser. Oh, and we get a Maya painting knife. And this is much nicer than the knife that they advertised. The knife that they advertised for the kit was kind of square at the end. And I'd never seen one like that. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird. But this is an actual real palette knife. I don't know why they're called knives. It, more looks, it looks more like a palette spoon. Go, or you know what it looks like? A palette pie thing to lift pie. What are those pie things called? Oh my gosh. Now, instead of this being an unboxing, and this is turning into a guess that word with, with Crafty Cat. So it's got a wooden handle and it's metal. This is really nice. And I don't have anything like this. You know what this means? I can try to try to do a paint along with Bob Ross. That'll be fun. Even though this Bob Ross uses oils. And this is gouache, which is totally different. Now, um, the difference between gouache, acrylic, and watercolor, I think gouache is like halfway between watercolor and acrylic. Watercolor, you can use water to reactivate the paint. So you can put paint down and then spread it around with water, and it kind of dissolves in the water, and it does its own thing and it's really cool and it spreads and you can also use water to lift it off so once it's down you can use water and kind of like a, an eraser and you can't do that with acrylics and apparently gouache is like a step above watercolor like not a step above but it's kind of like the difference between watercolor and acrylic i don't know i'm not an artist but um i thought i really want to try it what I like about acrylic is that you can layer. And in watercolor, you have to use that white stinky stuff, that masking fluid. Okay, so it looks like this is the extra white. And look how much they give you. And look how cute that package is. That is super cute. So this is extra white. And I did read that you're going to need extra white. Because for gouache, you use white to um to mix colors. So... And you also use white a lot in um, in watercolor. I use a lot of white. Not watercolor. In acrylics. So I, I sometimes I just do my whole canvas in white first. So I thought this was really good. And to buy this separately is $15.99 Canadian. So already these two extras would have cost me $30. So this would have normally cost $39. And these two just alone would have been another 30 so 49 59 So that would be 69 so which would be a lot more than what I paid, which is 49 Plus you get all this other stuff. Although the kit, the normal kit does come with these. And I'm just going to take this out for a second. We'll look at the paint last. And it comes with these... Oh, you know what these are? It says these are water... These are portable water, water holders. So they're just plastic. So I don't know how good these would be. But it's just like a little portable water holder. If you're working, I, I can't imagine taking this. This is super heavy. This, is like, this has to weigh a few pounds. Like this feels like it weighs five pounds. This is super heavy. So I can't see taking this on the move. But I guess if you are doing art on the move and you want to bring water, you could bring this. These are kind of cool. I mean, I don't know that I would ever use this. 
it looks like it would tip but I might be doing something wrong but you know what it's kind of cool that they added that but they're, they're literally just like plastic and they give you two and I don't know what this piece is for does it open I guess it's just to look like a cute little cactus I don't know so we've got those and it comes with a round canvas it's a sketching Maya and here's the back of it or maybe that's the front of it or maybe it's double-sided okay who people who know art tell me is this double-sided and this is the smooth side and that's not because that looks a lot like the canvases you got at the dollar store and that looks more smooth but anyway, I don't have a round one, so that's nice. And at the dollar store, these cost between 2 and $5. So that's all right. And there's this one. So this, I just thought it was a really nice set. And here it says this one is 250 millimeters by 250 millimeters. And not to use if you're between the ages of 0 and 3. And does it say what size this one is? I didn't notice. 255 millimeters. So, you know, this is a really nice kit. I'm really, really, um, I'm impressed. And it comes with a piece of foam. So, for shipping. And lots of bubble wrap. So, you guys, that's a lot. And we haven't even got to the paint yet. So, let's get to the paint. I am so excited about this. Ta-da! I, sh I should find that audio that goes, ah. <laughs> Where do you find that audio that goes, ah? So you guys, this is so pretty. So I don't know why there's a line through the word gouache. Why would they put the line through it? And there's a funny little car that looks like it's been in an accident with the number 11 on it. And it says this is safe and non-toxic, innovative design, washable, bright colors, silky and smooth, quick drying, and conforms to ASTM, whatever that means. And on the bottom, there is a little color chart. I'll let you take a look at that. These are the colors we're going to get. And let's just move this box back. Or maybe I should put it back in the box just in case anything's loose. I don't want to get it on my bedspread. So let's open this up. So the box, the lid comes right off. It's a nice sturdy case. It's nice and thick. Kind of like the lid of um, Tupperware, only not as flexible. And it comes with a little uh, plastic palette that fits right over everything. It's got a matte side and a shiny side. So for mixing. And look, it did. this is why they put the brushes down twice. They gave me two sets of brushes. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Because brushes aren't cheap. Hang on, the brushes came out. Give me one second. You guys, two sets of the same brushes. That is such a nice feature. Look it. I'm not even going to open this set. Look how nice. Because I really like the looks of these brushes. They're so cute. And I'll let you know after I try them how I like them. And... The paint. So these are called jelly gouache, and I'm sure you guys have seen these before because they've been all over YouTube. I'm like l really late to the party. So I guess the brushes can just sit in here when you're working, which is really cool. I've got this little area. So what is fun about these paints is they, they look like little jellies. So there's all different colors 
and I will do like an, um, a color swatch test with them where I open them all up. Look at that. See, they look like they're like little condiment containers. So each one of these holds 30 millimeters of paint, which is pretty good because I've looked at other gouaches on Amazon and some of them um, have half of that and they're like double the price. They only have 15 millimeters and they're in the little tubes. Now, I was watching some YouTube videos and one girl gave really good uh, advice. She said, before you open them, go buy a tin that you would use to uh, put your watercolor paints in or your oil paints in and just scoop out the colors into the tin and put them aside so you have a little travel container if you want. And you can use those. And these can dry because they can be reactivated with water just like watercolor. So I'm going to do that. I ordered the uh, the tin for, I think it was $15.99. It's going to come in tomorrow. So this is how much weight would normally come with it. But this kit gives you all of this extra weight, which is really nice. And you can buy this extra on Amazon. So, like, let's just do this. <laughs> Here's the colors, you guys. And I'll put them back later. I love this color. Look how pretty these colors are. So here's like the purples. I love purples. Pink. Plus you can make pink by adding white to the reds and that's that's a really pretty color. I love that. Look at this blue. So these are really really pretty colors. So they give you a nice range of blues. And a nice ring, they give you like a warmer and a cooler red, I guess. I'm just pretending like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't. Like which one of these greens would be a warm, a warm green and a cool green? Cool green, warm green, warm green are, are opposite. I think the warm colors have more yellow in them. I don't know. I have to look it up every time. I just literally go by what colors I like. <laughs> But here's all the colors. I don't want to lift it too high because the lid stuff's going to fall out. So what's your favorite color here? I'd say for me today, it's this color. Or in this color. Today I'm drawn to the pastel -y colors. But I normally am more drawn to the vibrant colors. So and then you can choose, which is nice. You could choose which way you want to put these in. Like, I would probably do, depending on which way I wanted to go, I'd go, like, white and yellow. Like, I would try to put the lighter colors together. I would have to figure out how I want them, but it wouldn't matter because you can always switch them. For now, I'm just going to shove these in here. So when you're ready to use them, you just peel them off. Now, I do wish that these came with lids that can be put back on. But they don't. And um, it probably would be a pain in the neck to take all these lids off and put them back on. And apparently, as long as you wet these down, you mist them with the anti mildew stray and some water between uses they stay pretty moist and if they don't you can reactivate them so but i plan on using these a lot like that's the hope anyway because i find i'm really hesitant to use my acrylics because i'm sad that they're running out like i bought that montmartre set at christmas time and i'm already running out of some colors and i've only done maybe five or six paintings so yeah so this apparently goes a long way which would be really nice. So I, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, I love it, and I'm excited, and I, I can't wait to try it. So you guys, I'll stop babbling now. I know this has been a longer video than usual. If you're still with me, um, say 
what can you say? Say Himi Jelly. Himi Jelly. All right. All right. Thanks for watching and hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, all of those good things. Leave your comments. Let me know what your favorite part of this was. I'm really thrilled that I got two sets of brushes. And these look like really pretty brushes. I don't know how they'll feel when, you know, until I use them. But I'm glad I've got brushes that are actually made for gouache. Because I have acrylic brushes and I have watercolor brushes. And I'm not sure which brushes I should have used for gouache. But now I'm just going to use the gouache brushes. And it's so nice that it came with absolutely everything here. And I have some paper that I could use. I have watercolor paper. And I have some other paper, like sketchbook kind of they're little books that are used for watercolor that I could use. I have marker paper. I have lots of paper, so I'm I'm good. And plus, I have a lot of canvases, too. All right, I'm still babbling. I'm sorry. I hope whatever you do today, it's a great day for you, that you have a wonderful day, and happy crafting, guys. Take care and stay safe. Bye.